Hi, my name is Malcolm and I'm a PSLE Science Specialist here at The Pig Lab. Welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. In this video, I'll be going through a past year examination question on the topic of plant cycle. I've also prepared this question for you to download for free by clicking a link in the description box below. So, let's get started. Question 4. Study the flowchart shown below. They want us to find out which of the following best represents A, B, and C correctly. So before we take a look at the options, let's look at the flowchart first. Now, what I want you to do is, whenever it comes to flowchart questions, it is always good to prepare some highlighters so that we can identify what characteristics A, B, and C will have. So take out your highlighter. I want you to highlight from the start of the flowchart and highlight towards A. So from this red colored highlighter, what characteristic does A have? From the flowchart, we can see that A is not a flowering plant. So if it's not a flowering plant, we can write down at the side, A is a non-flowering plant. So I will write it as NFP for short. Next, what about for B? Same thing, take a highlighter. I want you to highlight from the start all the way to B. And from this, we can see, is B a flowering plant? Yes, so we can write this down. B is a flowering plant. And I'm going to write down FP for short. Now, not only that, what else does the flowchart tell us about B? We know that B does not grow on land. So if B doesn't grow on land, it must grow where? It must grow in the water. So let's write this out. We know B is a flowering plant that grows in water. Now lastly, what about for C? Same thing, take another color highlighter. I want you to highlight from the start all the way to C. So from this purple colored highlighter, we can tell is C a flowering plant? Yes, it's indicated here. So I can write this down. And does C grow on land? Also, yes. So let's write this out. C is a flowering plant that grows on land. Now that we are done with the flow chart, we are ready to take a look at A first. So which of the plants below, W, X, or Y, best represents plant A? Remember, we said plant A is a non-flowering plant. So which of the three plants here are non-flowering? We can see clearly it must be plant X. So we can write this down. X is a non-flowering plant, which means the answer for A must be plant X. Next, what about for B? We know from the flowchart B is a flowering plant that lives in water. So let's check which of the plants here are flowering and live in water. We know it must be plant Y. So we can write this down. We know that plant Y is a flowering plant and it lives in water. So the answer for B must be plant Y. And now for C, we know C is a flowering plant that lives on land. So which plant is that? We can see it is plant W because plant W here, it is a flowering plant and it lives on land. Which means, what should be the correct answer? If we match this to the options, the correct answer has to be option 2. Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to check out more videos by us, do click on the links on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!